Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see about what is Apache Geode. So if you are familiar with Gemfire, you know that Gemfire's core processing has been taken out from the Gemfire code and then it has been moved to the Apache Foundation. So that is the Apache Geode. So Apache Geode is the core processing engine of the Gemfire cache. So Gemfire uh, was developed by Pivotal. So it was previously uh, under VMware and now it got moved to Pivotal. So Gemfire is now owned by Pivotal and the core processing of the Gemfire cache has been taken out and then moved to the Apache Foundation. So the first version of the Apache Geode came in November 2016 uh, but the Gemfire was in um, research uh, for the past like 10 years or something. So Gemfire um, was the initial uh, in-memory data grid which uh, people were doing research on and then they had taken out the core processing of the Gemfire cache and then they put it inside an open source uh, foundation uh, which is under Apache which is called the Geode okay so Gemfire is a product which Pivotal sells and Apache Geode is an open source uh, framework which we can use for creating Gemfire kind of caches so most of the core processing is inside Apache Geode there are some additional features inside Gemfire okay so what is this Apache Geode right so Apache Geode is a, um, a real-time in-memory uh, data grid which you can use for caching so apache geode cannot replace a traditional um, uh, database but it is used for caching your data so imagine um, geode is like a geode or gemfire is like a sophisticated uh, in-memory key value pair which can natively support json so so uh, the gemfire cache can natively support json by default and it uses the key value pair for storing the in-memory data grid okay uh, you can do uh, queries in the form of objects so you can do object querying uh, there is a concept of continuous querying so you can stream the querying of data from that in-memory cache right also uh, apache uh, geode is designed for the low latency so gemfire uh, when you use it you will see the difference between the traditional databases and the in-memory databases right obviously if something is in memory it is going to give you very low latency right so same way apache geode or the gemfire is designed for the low latency okay all these are um, key value pairs which are stored in the in-memory data grid okay so in-memory data grid is nothing but in-memory caches uh, from different machines or the um, clusters which are connected in the form of a grid so basically these are all interconnected so all these are interconnected there is no clustering it is it, uh, it is it is like clustering only but um, there is no ring as such so if you have a ring not all the nodes are connected but in a data grid you have the nodes interconnected okay so it's a in-memory data grid it is by default cloud ready so you can um, move the apache geo to cloud by default anytime and uh, most probably it is like memory oriented so it has um, um, memory oriented features okay so it is okay memory oriented and you have an optional uh, way to write it to the disk and these writes are all asynchronous so you don't have to um, wait for the cache to persist into the disk but these uh, disk writes are all asynchronous so you don't have to worry about writing and then going back so you just say um, write this data into the disk and then you go back asynchronously the data will be written to the disk by the cache also you can um, use um, gemfire or uh, geode with different technologies like java c sharp uh, c++ or any anything so you don't have to have a common language to use apache geode or gemfire caches right most probably people use java because that's more um, familiar than other languages right so that is another thing um, also apache geode provides a concept of uh, pub sub model so you have a way to publish and subscribe like how we had in redis so we have that model as well here so you can publish and subscribe to a single channel 
so that is when the continuous querying uh, comes into picture as well so you have a concept of continuous querying where you can query the data continuously streaming uh, stream um, you can stream that data so for example let's say you are doing a select star from some table or select uh, uh, some data from a cache from a key value pair right so from a key you can get the data in the form of stream so you can continuously query the data and then it can be pushed asynchronously to the consumer and the consumer can process it also these uh, these continuous queries can be pushed to the message bus and then these can be processed like a event driven uh, mechanism okay so the data is uh, stored in the form of shards so as you guys know in a traditional in any NoSQL databases uh, people use shard concept where you can um, have distributed caches uh, across different nodes right and all these uh, shards are based on the customer ID so if let's say I'm querying um, there are five different customers who are querying 10 different nodes every uh, customer is assigned a node or more than that so only that particular node will be serving uh, data for that particular customer and each customer will have a different node so that way uh, every particular node in the particular cluster is um, served so all the machines are constantly processing the data and then serving the data for the clients right also um, uh, the gemfire supports one to many many to many uh, many to one relationships which can be modeled so you can have uh, relationships inside apache geode unlike the cassandra where you cannot have uh, relationships um, here you can have relationships um, modeled right also the other uh, good feature about um, gemfire is you can have parallel functions executing executed so you can execute functions in parallel like how you can do it in MapReduce kind of concepts okay so those are the basic features which I wanted to cover apart from that if you see in the website uh, they have mentioned almost whatever I said replication and partitioning I just mentioned right you have partitioning concepts so replication obviously every um, cache is now having a replication so they replicate across these partitions so persistence as I said earlier it's super fast so performance is um, the major um, thing about in-memory databases is the performance is the key right and same way this is uh, in-memory storage so all the data is stored in in-memory and you can have an optional way to write it the other good part is um, the events so you can stream events so you can have server side um, data pushed as events and the server can process them linearly the next one is clustering so you have like uh, a grid connected so you have like uh, lots of nodes interconnected and you have them mm, connected always okay and you have multi clusters as well so if you see here you can have a, um, a different data center out of a different region or a different geolocation and you can connect them together in a single grid so you can do that as well so that is the must multi cluster so continuous query is what we discussed already uh, the clients obviously uh, as I said you can have C++, uh, Csharp.net, Node.js all these are there and there are REST APIs so as you know the REST uh, API is what is exposed from the uh, Gemfire cache so you can have any technology use this particular REST endpoint to access the cache so you don't have to have uh, this specific uh, technology right the other good part is the adapters which I forgot so the adapters are uh, nothing but you can have adapters to connect from the gemfire or the geode to the redis cache or other mem cache okay so you can connect um, these two caches using the adapters so literally you can have a redis cache as well as the geode cache and then have adapters to talk to them right so um, that is what uh, i wanted to cover so that is what um, uh, apache geode is and if you see gemfire gemfire is just a implementation of apache geode it has um, uh, it is a uh, enterprise product which uh, Pivotal sells mm, so they have some wrapper around uh, the Apache Geode and then they have made it Pivotal specific so and if you see here they have just mentioned what uh, what is the uh, feature which is specific to the Gemfire from the Geode so so, so real-time data to millions uh, event-driven architecture uh, ideal for microservices so um, if you're not familiar, familiar about what is event-driven architecture you can check some of my videos for knowing about what is that event driven architecture and how things work in the microservices world right so that is it about uh, apache geode and gemfire i'll just summarize what we discussed so geode or the uh, gemfire is a in memory um, cache which has a key value pair for storing the data so it is a key value pair um, a key value store basically 
and it can support JSON messages by default. Um, it was designed for low latency. Uh, it has the con other concepts of um, replication, scalability, and the resiliency. All these are there um, out of the box. Same way, the publisher subscriber model is there. There is a continuous querying concept where you can stream the data to a message bus or the um, or you can use the event data event driven processing mechanism to process these messages in the server side right it can also support the uh, relationships it can support one to many many to uh, one or many to many relationships which can be modeled it also supports the parallel functions um, uh, something similar to map reduce okay so that is what i wanted to cover as a part of this particular video hope you uh, understood what is a um, uh, geode so in the future videos we might see how to use the geode cache but uh, in this particular video is specific to the um, understanding of what is geode and gemfire right so if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much